Kino. Rooted and grounded for abundance. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 18 to 21. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. We're going to have uh, Pastor Martin deliver the word. Are you ready for us? Ephesians chapter 3, starting at verse 18. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. Wherefore, then serveth the law. Efficient, you are reading. Oh, sorry. Ephesians chapter 3, starting at verse 18, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now, unto him that is able to do it seating abundantly above all that we may ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. And to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 21. Can we take Amplify? Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 3, starting at verse 18, Amplified Version. Be fully capable of comprehending with all the saints, God's people, the width and length and height and depth of his love, fully experiencing the amazing, that amazing endless love, and that you may come to know practically through personal experience the love of Christ, Hallelujah. which far surpasses mere knowledge without experience, that you may be filled up throughout your being to all the fullness of God, so that you may have the richest experience of God's presence in your lives, completely filled and flooded with God himself. Verse 20, now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and do Sub abundantly more than all that we dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams, according to his power that is at work within us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this word. Uh, please put the, 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 the caption again. Rooted and grounded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Can we say that together? And grounded for abundance. Again. And grounded, grounded for, for abundance. abundance. One more time. Rooted, Rooted and, and grounded, grounded for abundance. That is our portion. Can I hear a believing amen? amen? That is our portion. Rooted and grounded for abundance. Say it prophetically. And grounded for abundance. Say it pointing to yourself prophetically. I am rooted and grounded for abundance. Hallelujah. That is a prophetic word for us this morning. And I believe the word is timely. The word is timely. For those who are open, those who are watching, let your heart be open. Let your spirit be open to what God has released for us this morning. That we are rooted and grounded for abundance all the days of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified, Lord. Whenever your word is released, it doesn't come back without fulfilling the purpose for which it is being sent. We know as you have said it, so shall it be. You have the power to do thy will, to do, to fulfill your word in our lives. Lord, our spirit are open at this moment. Let your word find expression in us. Let your word find expression in us. That at the end of the day, let God and God alone be glorified. In the name of Jesus, whatever you give unto us, being a spiritual, physical, material, let it be for your glory. Let it be for to serve the kingdom of God. Let it be to advance the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible says we are rooted, we are grounded for abundance. And he's pointing to us God because only him alone can cause that, that dimension, that change in our lives. No one can receive anything from God except he give it to us. No one except it is given by God. And when God gives you something and you open your heart unto him for instructions on how to use it, on how to glorify his name with it, then you create room for more. Is somebody getting what God is saying? You create room for more. The question is, how much can you receive? Not how much he can give. Because he gives in abundance. But how much you can receive, that is a measure you can grasp from him at a given time. Hallelujah. So as we open our heart, our spirit to be precise, we are going to receive abundantly. And this blessing is without measure, is without limit. It goes beyond. It goes beyond our human reasoning. It goes beyond our understanding. It goes beyond what man can think or imagine. But what God can do in us, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, I would like the, the amplify. Yes. But fully capable of comprehending with all the sense that is God's people, the wit, the length, the height, the depth of his love, fully experiencing that amazing, endless love, is describing the dimension in which the length, according to your faith in him, that God can go 
that he can express. Verse 18, verse 18. But fully capable of comprehending with all the saints, God's people, the width, the length, the height, the depth of his love, whose love, God's love towards us, fully experiencing that amazing and endless love. Verse 19. And that you may come to know practically through personal experience the love of Christ. Hallelujah. That you may come to know. You may come to realize it. You may come to discover the length, the height, the, 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 the depth of the love of Christ, which far surpass all knowledge or man knowledge without experience that you may be filled up throughout your being to all the fullness of God so that you may have the, rich, the richest experience of God's presence in your life completely filled and flooded with God himself. Completely filled and flooded with God himself, his totality, his love, his power, his grace, to be completely filled and flooded with God himself. Verse 20. Now to him who is able to carry out the purpose and do super abundantly more than all that we dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our greatest prayer, hopes, or dreams, according to his power that is at work with us. Hallelujah. There is no limit to what God can do. It is only man that can limit God. It is only man that can limit God. The Bible says, if he could not withhold his own son, but freely gave him to us, then is there anything he cannot do to you? There is nothing. So long as you ask in faith and it should be for his glory, then God can freely give unto us all things. Hallelujah. God can give unto us all things, especially when we ask in faith and it should be for the glory of God. Most at times we are selfish. We ask things that satisfy only our flesh. We ask things that makes us to, to, be, to be proud. We ask of things that give gratitude only to the flesh. But God is interested of things that builds your spirit before your, 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 your flesh. Hallelujah. God is interested of building you from the inside, then outside. The glory should be inside, then it should portray from the outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want us to rethink of the things we have been asking from him. Why the delay? Why some things have not yet been weakness or observed or seen? The first thing we need to know is that God has the capacity, the power to give us all things for his glory. But we need to come to that point where we align ourselves with his purpose. So much so that whatever he puts in our hand, it will be used for his glory. Whatever he puts in our hand, we will use it to serve him. We will use him to glorify his name. Hallelujah. The love of God, the Bible, the scriptures start by, by showing us the dimension of love that God has for his people. God is love. Hallelujah. Love is a person. 
and love is God. He says, he shows us the dimension to which God loves us. Even while we were yet sinners, he had a plan for us. Before he created us into existence, he has a plan for you and me. And while he fashioned you, there is already a divine purpose to be fulfilled, to be realized. Hallelujah. So when we are created, he gives us that ability, that choice for us to realize the love that he has in the first place by creating us. The Bible says we don't know the, the breadth, the length, the, the height, and the depth of the love that God has for us. Because if we truly know that dimension of love that God has for us, we cannot keep anything to ourselves that he has given unto us. Some of us, we find it difficult to serve God with all that he has given unto us. To serve God with our time. To serve God with material things. To serve God with our heart. To serve God with all that he has given unto us. But he is cautioning us that his love towards us knows no boundary. Hallelujah. His love is beyond our imagination. He says, and to know the love of Christ. Amplified says the endless love. The love that is endless. When he says something is endless, it means it doesn't expire. Even in the process where we go wrong, when we realize and still come back, he still accepts us. We talk about the prodigal son coming back. The love never changed. God still took him. We, the father still brought him inside. Hallelujah. The love of God is endless. We should have that consciousness. That is why God is saying it again and again. At times we just say it with our mouth that God loves us. But we don't know the dimension to which he loves us. Why we were still sinners. He loves us. What more of why we have accepted him as our personal Lord and Savior. It means we will see more of his dimension. We just enter into our inheritance. We can see clearly. Because while we never had that knowledge, we were walking in the dark. But now that we have the knowledge, it means our spirit is enlightened. We have come to the Lamb light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The love of God in my life is endless. I want you to say that. The love of God in my life is endless. The love of God in my life is endless. The love of God in my family is endless. The love of God in the church is endless. The love of God in our community is endless. The love of God in the United States is endless. The love of God for the world is endless. Hallelujah. There is no limitation. We don't know the breadth. We don't know the length. We don't know the depth and the height to which God loves us. He loves me. He loves you. He loves your family. He loves the creature. He loves whatever he has created. Hallelujah. And so when you are conscious with the love of Christ, then he says it passes that knowledge, that understanding, that you might be filled with the fullness of God, with the fullness of his power, with the fullness of his dominion, with the fullness of his glory. I am conscious that the spirit of God, the fullness of God, dwells in me. The Holy Ghost is God. Hallelujah. And as he dwells in me, there is that consciousness, there is that understanding. I have that authority. Whatever he has given unto me, I know it is mine. 
And so by faith, I have it. Hallelujah. Whenever I pray for something, by faith, I know I have received it. I might not have received it or see it physically, but spiritually, I know there is a shift. Spiritually, I know it is in my direction. Spiritually, I know God has given it unto me because God is a spirit. Hallelujah. And we get in touch with him through the spirit. And when we get in touch with him in the spirit, then he can cause men now in the physical. He can cause things in the physical to come your direction so that you can use it and serve him. Hallelujah. So that you can use it and glorify him. So that you can use it and worship him. He says, to know the love of Christ, which giveth knowledge. It's not carnal knowledge. It's the knowledge that comes by the Spirit. It's the knowledge that comes by revelation. It's the knowledge that comes by divine insight, that you might be filled with the fullness of God. If I am filled with the fullness of God, it means I am the head of every circumstance, every situation, any place where God directs me to. He's directing me there with an authority. I am coming with a grace, with a mandate, with a mouthpiece of God. When I speak, people will know that I am defending the kingdom of God because God is there to back me up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am declaring it with authority. Because some of us, we live in fear. We don't know the dimension to which God loves us and the power that resides on the inside of us. If the fullness of God dwells in me, it means sickness is not my portion. It means poverty is not my portion. It means limitation is not my portion. It means setback is not my portion. When the fullness of God is reside in me, it means I am in charge. I am in full authority of the circumstances of life, at the place of work, at the shopping mall, anywhere I go, even while I'm driving, I am conscious of the fullness of God. He loves me, and his power is in the inside of me. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. The fullness of God. The fullness when something is in full, it means you don't need to add anything again on it. It is complete. The fullness of God. The fullness of God. The totality. The totality of God. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Holy Ghost. Let so Let that spirit begin to activate the knowledge. The knowledge of Christ, the knowledge of Christ in me, the knowledge of Christ in me, let it be activated for me to know the dimension in which I operate from the heavenly, from the heavenly, from the spiritual to the physical. You are in church. You are in dominion. You have abundance because you are rooted. You are grounded in the love of God. You are rooted, you are grounded in the abundance of God. God has everything. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And the fullness. Hallelujah. It says, but unto him that is able, unto him, unto God, who is able to do exceedingly to do abundantly, to do above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. According to the power that works where? In us. Remember, he talks about the fullness, the fullness of God in you. The fullness of God, we have been filled with the fullness, the totality, that knowledge to know what belongs to us, not only knowing, but to be conscious, to receive it, and to use it for the glory of God. 
He says, unto him that is able, there is nothing that can stop you from receiving anything from God. There is no power. There is no obstacle. There is no altar. There is no force. There is no government that can stop you from receiving the abundance from God, from receiving your inheritance, from receiving your surplus, from receiving from God. There is nothing in the name of Jesus. Can we have it in Amplify verse 20? Okay, that's it. Can you read for us, please? Now to him. Now to him. Who is able to carry. Now to God who is able. To carry out his to purpose. To carry out his purpose. And do super abundantly more than all that we dare to ask or think. Infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams. According to his power that is at work within us. Hallelujah. Prophet, just leave that verse 20 there. Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose. God carrying out his purpose in our lives. He is able to carry out that purpose. Even in our weakness, God is able. Even in our weaknesses, God is able to carry out his purpose in your life, in your family, in the church of God, in our community, even in our weaknesses, even in our weaknesses. The Bible says God is able. And because he has said it, I believe that he is able. Somebody say God is able. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask or think, according to the power that work in us, that work in us, God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, Above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. Hallelujah. God is able. I say God is able. You need to be conscious of it. God is able. Say God is able to do his purpose in my life. God is able. To fulfill his purpose through me. Hallelujah. We need to be conscious of it. That God is able. When you come to the place of weakness. You should remember. The word of God does not go out and come back void. There is a word. God is able. God is able. In this situation he is able. No matter how it seems difficult or challenging. There is a prophetic word. God is able. God is able to break that barrier. God is able to carry me through this war. God is able to break grounds. God is able to take me to, to new heights. God is able. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. He is able. Yes, Lord God, you are able de 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 de. to take me to high places. Yes, to high that places. Where myself I cannot get. I cannot you go. Are able, Lord God, naturally, to rise physically. Me up. You are able, Lord God, as a mother. But God, God, God is able. You are able, Lord God. Shantiri alata. Man says, "Tell you alata." You are able. Yes. You are my capacity. Yes. You are able. You are Beyond able. my ability, yes. you are able. Yes. Beyond them, you are all able, God. Asha teli yalata. Man se se li yalade. Ika pronso se li yalata. Rooted and grounded in abundance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalere. Abundance is a spirit. Just as poverty is a spirit. 
Abundance is a spirit. That is what God is saying. Abundance is a spirit. Abundance is a spirit. Whenever he came to places where there was lack, he spoke and things came into existence. He spoke and things came into existence, meaning that abundance is a spirit, just as lack is a spirit. But because God is able, it means I have the spirit of abundance. I am rooted and grounded in abundance. Anytime I am in lack, or I feel as if I am in lack, then I know something is wrong, because that is not the spirit of God. The spirit of God is abundance. The spirit of God is surplus. The spirit of God, it gives you in excess. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is able. The Bible says, when he asked the disciples to give the, the crowd bread to eat, he himself knew what to do. He is abundance. And that is the spirit that is, uh, is in us. The Bible says we are filled with the fullness of God. We are undefeated. We are undefeated. We can never go down. He himself knew what to do. I don't know the circumstance that surrounds you. One thing is certain this morning. We are rooted and grounded in abundance. Meaning the spirit of God, the fullness of, of God is in us. Spiritually, we are grounded. Spiritually, we are grounded. We are rooted. It means we have stamina. We cannot be easily moved. We cannot be tossed to and fro. We cannot be carried by the wind. Spiritually, you are filled with abundance. Hallelujah. Abundance in spiritual things. Abundance in spiritual gifts. Abundance with revelation. Abundance with spiritual ideas. I am filled with abundance. With abundance. Hallelujah. The abundance here is not only physical. It's both physical, spiritual, material. We are full with abundance. We are full with surplus. We are full with abundance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It says, unto him who is able to do. Please give us the, the, the 20 again in Amplify. Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose. God has a purpose for each and every one. He told Jeremiah, before I formed you, I knew you. I have a plan for you, which are plans of good, plans of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. God has a purpose for you to reach out to as many as he will give you the grace to reach out to. He says, as long as it is day, I will do the will of my father, of he that sent me. God has a purpose for everything that he has created. God has a purpose for my life. And that purpose must be activated. That purpose must be stirred up. So that as I live here, I know God has a purpose. And he has the power to carry out his purpose for my life. Because by strength, shall no man prevail. Hallelujah. It is by the Spirit. By strength shall no man prevail. It is not by your physical abilities, but it is by the grace of God, by the Spirit of God. He says to carry out his purpose and to super abundantly, he says, and do super abundantly 
more than all that we dare ask or think. What is the dimension to which you can ask or think? As you think, whatever you see manifesting here on earth, somebody caught the idea. You are sitting on the chair, that is somebody's idea, but it comes from God. Hallelujah. Because he created all things. So whatever you can see, whatever you think, know that God has the power to do it. Whatever you ask, you have been asking. Hallelujah. Whatever you ask or think, whatever you ask or imagine, the pictures you see, the visions, God will bring it to reality. Hallelujah. What do you see? Five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years from now. What can you see? What can you imagine? Because God is able. Whatever you can see, whatever you ask according to his purpose, then he will do it. He will do it exceedingly. He will do it abundantly. He will do it above all. Hallelujah. So begin to reflect the things God has shown you in the past and what you can see right now. There is a word that God is able. God is able. Whatever he has shown you, maybe five years ago, 15 years ago, what can you see? 10 years further, 50 years further, God is able. God is able to do exceedingly, to do abundantly, to do above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. It's according to the power that he has put in us. That is his fullness. His power in us is capable to do it. Hallelujah. Whatever you ask him, let it be by the Spirit of God. Whatever you imagine, let your heart be guarded by the Spirit so that you will see the things that God has, his agenda for the future, so that you can clearly see it because he is capable of executing it. I am rooted, I am grounded in abundance. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. What can you see? Le ke prosu seli yalata. Mose seli yalata. The Bible says, Blessed be God who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. With all. All. Somebody say all. All spiritual blessings. Blessed be God who has blessed us with all all spiritual blessings in the spirit and in the physical god has blessed you and me hallelujah it's just for you by faith according to the measure of your faith the dimension of your faith in christ Yes, Lord, he is able to do. He is able to do. He is able to do. 
I want you to begin to see products that are not yet in existence. And because of you, God will bring it to reality. Begin to see the agenda of God in the future. Then we will start by asking him in prayers. But you have to see it. You have to see it. You have to see it. He says, according to the power that works in us. All things are possible by the Spirit of God. And so we are declaring that the purpose of God for the ministry, for the church in this season, oh God, let it be realized. Let it be achievable. Let it be realized. In the name of Jesus, start by dealing with spiritual issues. Deal with spiritual issues exceedingly. Let God activate all the gifts that he has put in the inside of you, that he has put in the churches, that he has put in the life of your children. Let it be activated. Whatever potential, whatever, whatever creativity God has bestowed in us, we ask by faith shall let the abundance be seen let the abundance be realized let the abundance be seen let it be matured shalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
you are not getting what God is saying. Abundance of blessings that you cannot count. Abundance of blessings that you cannot count. Take me to that dimension where I cannot count. I cannot count. I cannot count. When we talk of those that can worship God, we will see millions. When we talk of those that can dance for God, millions will come out to showcase what we cannot count. It will be in abundance in the house of God. That is a stage in which God is taking the church into. That we cannot count. We cannot count. We cannot count. We cannot count. Dimensions where we cannot count. Physically, we cannot count. Dimension of abundance. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Gifting in the church we cannot count. Millions to play the instrument. Millions to play the organs. To play the guitar. To play the piano. We cannot count. Because it will be spreading from one city to the other. The Bible says, and the word of God grew and multiplied exceedingly, abundantly. Yes, surplus, surplus that you cannot count. You cannot count. Let the giftings of the Spirit be so much in the church that we cannot count. In the name of Jesus, begin to make that declarations. The giftings, the gifts of God in the church, abundance. Let it bring abundance that we cannot count. Yes. Signs and wonders that we cannot count. Yes, Lord. Hey. Yes, Lord. The children of Israel in the wilderness, they lack nothing because God was fully present. When you have God, you have abundance. Hallelujah. And because he is a loving God, he will not withhold the things of the Spirit from us. The physical things he has declared in his word. The material things, they are all yours. They belong to you and I. We are rooted. We need to have that consciousness enough of that defeatedness in your spirit that breakdown that heaviness you are so so depressed you are so down god is capable god is capable he has done it again and again and again he's the unchangeable god hallelujah hallelujah blessings that you cannot count they are coming to your family. They are coming to your life. They are coming to this land because we are interceding. That dimension of breakthrough, we are stepping into it now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before you think of something, God brings it in abundance. Before you even think of it, God brings it in abundance. In the name of Jesus, let you sell the alata. Stand to your feet. Hey, ke pro so sell the anana namaso. Lere re 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 bosso so li alata. Ate pro so sell the alata. The Bible says we should lean not on our own understanding. We should not depend on our understanding. 
our human philosophy. But we should trust in God. We should trust in his word. We should trust in who he is. We should trust in his faithfulness. We should trust in the things he has done in our lives that he is capable to do even more. Hallelujah. God is capable. God is able. Because of love, places you have never entered, because of the love of Christ, you will enter there because you have a message for the king, because you have a message for the president, because you have a message for those in government. God is taking you into places you have never been to, into places you have never been to. In the name of Jesus, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes Lord. Rooted and grounded in abundance. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. To be rooted and grounded in abundance, it means to be rooted and grounded in Christ. Hallelujah. It means to be rooted and grounded in God. Once you are fully conscious of the power of God in you, you will always speak to the situation. You will always be confident. You will always be bold. Hallelujah. You are always conscious and you know what to do. The Bible says he himself knew what to do. When they asked him, he asked Philip to give the people bread to eat. He himself knew what to do. Because he is abundance. So long as he has the word, he is the word, then he is abundance. 
Hallelujah. So whenever the word richly dwells in you and you begin to speak it out, you are declaring the abundance of God. Let God fulfill his word because it will certainly come to pass. Hallelujah. Shalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
what he's put, he's putting in your hand. He's giving you the grace to multiply and to, to, to maintain, to be able to keep what he has given unto you. The abundance of God will not take you out of the track. The surplus, the abundance of God will not take you out of his love, out of his presence. The more he blesses you, the more you will love him. The more you will worship him. The more you will honor him. The more you will come close to him. Le suseli yalata. Eke pro suseli yalata. Mo suseli yananana maso. Le re 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 re. Shate pro suseli yalata. Yes, Lord. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages. Yes, Lord. His love never ends. His love doesn't end. It's an endless love. So are his blessings. The blessings of God make it rich. No sorrow. No sorrow. No sorrow. All you need to do is to worship him with all he's giving unto you, with all he's putting in your hand, with all he has flooded you with. Lord, we honor you. We honor you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want you to lift up your hands. Those that are watching, Le Kaba Baba 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 Lado Sulianata. Le So Selianana Man So Selianata. It is by the Spirit of God. It is by the Spirit of God. No man can receive anything except it is given to him from above. The blessings of God, they make it rich. And there is no sorrow attached to his blessings. His blessings are so mighty. There are so much. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness. There is and the fullness thereof. There is no limitation to where God is taking you to. There is no barrier to the height where God is taking you to. You can't be measured. The Bible talks of the love. No one knows that you can't measure it. It's the same with the abundance, with the blessings. There is no dimension. It can be, it's unmeasurable. After this season, after this prayer, you are entering into the season of blessings Lama without Lama measure Lama in the name of the Jesus name of Christ. Jesus Christ. Yes, blessings Lord. without measure. Lama Abundance Lama without measure. Lama Surplus Lama without measure. Yes, Lord Jesus. Prosperity yes, Lord without Jesus. measure. Abundance without measure. Yes, Surplus Lord. without measure. Yes, Lord. Excess without yes, measure. Lord. Your cup shall run over. Yes, Lord. On every yes, side. Lord. On every yes, side. Yes, on every Lord. side. Yes, on every side. Yes, Lord. On every side. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and begin yes, to Lord. claim it. Begin to declare it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My increase is beyond, yes, Lord. beyond the borders, yes, Lord. beyond the limitations, yes. beyond the hindrance, yes. beyond every soul, yes. beyond every wall. Yes. My, hey. you got my basso godora, my 
Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. There is more than abundance. More than. There is more than abundance. Yes, Lord. There is more than abundance. Yes, Lord. There is more than abundance. Amen. There is more than abundance. There is more than abundance. There is more than abundance. Let's say gada gadora. Let's say gede gade la basa gada. There is more. There is more. Mama so gade da bade. Let's say gade bada bada. Yes. Ande de 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 gada bada. Yes, say gada da bage da. There is more God. Yes. There is more. 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 There is. There is more. Yes, Lord. There is more. Amen. There is more. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Abase gada baga da bada. Hallelujah. There is more, there is more. There is more, there is more, there is more. Somebody say there is more. There is there is more. There is there is more. 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 They were not praying. Yeah. But because of somebody who saw in the spirit, ah, he yes. said tomorrow at this yes. time, yes, yes, there yes. is a release of the more. Yes. There is a release of the more. Yes. There is a release of the more. Yes. There is a release of the more. Yes, Before they realize uh, there were more and abundance. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. I receive it. I receive it. Oh, there is more. I receive it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, Lord. There is more. There is. There is more. There is. I'm shaking it. There is. I'm seizing it. Yes. I'm arresting it. Yes. I'm grabbing it. Yes. I'm shaking it. Yes. I'm blocking it. Amen. But there is more. There is. There is. There is. There is more. There is more. Yes, Lord. Le basu gabe zagadi la madi da madi gada. Lusu gade bagada yando suda. Lo no 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 no. Ligi de 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 de. The way at the gates. The way cast out. All they saw were the limitation. All they saw were the leprosy. 
They did not even know that there will be a tomorrow that will call more. All they knew is when they were out. All they knew, they were limited. Yes. The physical body showed that they were limited. The set of heart were broken. They were hungry. Oh my God. They were hungry. And they could not receive. Yes. But when, when the Spirit of God was in the neighborhood, hey. when the Spirit of God Abundance. was in the neighborhood, yes. Abundance, abundance. When the spirit of the God spirit. was in the neighborhood, yes. And the spirit of God released itself. <laughs> Suddenly they found out. Yes, Lord. Suddenly they found out. <laughs> you have not changed, Lord. That, that they were suddenly in the mall. They were suddenly in the mall. Yes, Lord. Yes. The prophecy has spoken. Yes, Lord. And suddenly they saw the spirit moving them. Yes, yes, the yes. The prophecy has spoken. Yes. And suddenly they saw they were being moved. Yes. The prophecy has declared. Yes. And suddenly they saw they were being moved. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. They left the place they were. Yes. They went further. Yes. They did not know yes, that Lord. there was a prophecy that was released. Yeah. All they knew yes. the mass go. Yes. They were being pressed. Yes. They were being pressed. Yes. They were being pressed. Yes. Being pressed. Yes. You must go. Yes. You must advance. Yes. Ah, Alleluia. I cannot say here. Because there is more. Abundance. Oh yes. Abundance. Oh yes. Spirit of abundance. Oh yes. Oh yes. Spirit of abundance. Spirit of abundance. We activate. We activate. Spirit of abundance. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let go, bro. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Ma, turn it down a little bit. Turn it down. You, you see, in the spirit. Oh, let, let, let me let, let me give you some revelations. In the spirit, God is releasing things and the physical have to do it. In the spirit, when God releases things, the physical must manifest it. Let me explain again. You're thinking in your mind, but Lord, I don't see. But Lord, I don't have. But Lord, I don't possess it. The Lord is not asking you to believe him because you have. Mm. Let me say it again. He's not asking you to believe him because you have. He's asking you to believe him because you don't have. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he, you, 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 you see abundance as the, the count of what you have. No. Abundance is a count of what you don't have. Because when he comes in, he comes in beyond your measure. Oh, yes. Are, are you following? He comes beyond your measure. He does not come because you can host it. He does not come because you have room. The Bible says it will not be room enough for you to host it. Oh, yes. 
When God speaks in the spirit, the physical matter and the physical nature must fulfill it. If you are a physical matter, you are called to fulfill it. Are you following? Yeah. If you are a physical matter, you are called to fulfill it. Listen, when the Hebrews lepros, they were sitting. They were sitting in despair. They were sitting in lack. They were sitting in hunger. By the release of the word of God, by the prophet, has been released in the chamber. They were outside the city. And the release of the word of God caused their mortal body to move. Let me help you with this. If there is somebody who's praying, then there is a manifestation in your life. Amen. It's as simple as that. I say again. If there is somebody who's praying, then there is a manifestation in your life. In the principle of the kingdom of God, he's able to completely and sovereignly come and position you in places you would not even think of. I call the sovereignty of, of God. God. There were lepros. There were lepros. They look left, right. They did not see any outcome. The last people that they knew cast them out. The last person you believe could help you. Mm. You won't be the person helping you. The last place they were acquainted to, they were cast out of there. And the last thing they saw was the enemy coming to encamp against the entire city. No provision in, no provision out. But see, when God was about to move in the neighborhood, mm. his spirit penetrated into the chamber yes, Lord. and said, I declare that tomorrow, the same time, the impossible will become, will become possible. possible. Amen. 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 Tomorrow, at the same time, mm. The impossible hey. becomes possible. Yes, Lord. And suddenly they see themselves moving into the possession. And they start moving in the possession. And as they start moving in the possession, they find more. They find there is more. Somebody says there is more tomorrow. There is, there more. is more tomorrow, tomorrow at the same time. By this time tomorrow. There, there is more, more tomorrow by more. the same time. By the same time tomorrow. There is more tomorrow, is more tomorrow at the same, same time. There is more tomorrow. There is more tomorrow at the same time. There is more the sovereignty of God has spoken. The sovereignty of God has spoken. Amen. The sovereignty of God has spoken. Amen. The sovereignty of God has spoken. Amen. Sunda Basida. Eke Prince 
Lialata. Sugar Gabe. La from and Debre. Le Gadia. Yes. Oven Abaso Gadida Base. Yes, Lord. Londa Dia Base. Yes. I call for windows to open. Yes. I call for the doors to open. Amen. I call for the doors to open. Amen. I break through those doors. Yes. That are for you today. Yes. Let them be open. Amen. Let them be open. Amen. By violence and by force. Amen. By power and by thunder. Amen. Let them be open. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Asha <sighs> baba baba. Zindo broga. Yes, Lord. Jesus is called the sovereignty of God. Where he steps in the plate. Hasugi mm. badi dabaji. Lofrosi dabala. Zundo gabadi. What time is it? Four fifty. Fifty uh, one five. Four forty five. Uh, four forty five. Four fifty. Four forty five. Sukade ya tabata tabata. Zunde ya brande gede bebre. O sukaba di ya na sukade. Lebron do sukade ya na na na. Lando broski di bi di bi. Yes, Lord. Shiga. Thank you for your Labrando word. You have spoken. Landere Suzibi. Oh, Pali. Labadibo Sundu Vazibidi. Ikapa Baba. Candarera Yandere. Liso Celia Ladun. Macabayala de Balata. Thank you, Lord. See yourself as the disciples. What you don't understand is that God is not giving you because you're even asking. Let me explain to you why. He's giving you because people are asking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The disciples were with Christ. The Lord told them, feed them. They said, but don't, Lord, we don't have abundance. Mm -hmm. All we have is a limited portion. Are you following? Yeah. The Lord did not tell them, feed them because they had. He said, feed them because people had need. 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 And you see the sovereignty of God? He passes over the unbelief. He skips over the unbelief because of the need of the people. He crossed over the unbelief because there was a need. But you see, when he brings the ball, he does not give it directly to the people. He puts it in the hands of the apostles. Are you following? He puts them in the hands and the supply to all and there is leftover. The sovereignty of God at move is, ir is irrespective mm. of your position. Amen. The sovereignty of God at move is, is irrespective. He see a need, he supplies. Now, when the word of God speaks, those who are in the line find themselves being moved inside that line. Are you following? Mm -hmm. When God wants to manifest by his own counsel, when God wants to manifest by his own counsel, he only has to release it. And today, that is what he's doing. He's releasing from his own counsel. Mm -hmm. He's releasing from his own sovereignty. Yeah. He's releasing from his own counsel. 
so that he placed in your hands to expand his kingdom. Say, so there is more. There is more. Ah, don't, don't be wondering why, why I'm not having, why I'm not breaking through, why, why, no. Those questions are what is hindering your mind and your thought, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's not hindering the plans of God. When the sun is shining, you may not be outside. You may be in the room. But it's not because you're not feeling the sun that is not shining. Are you following? Yeah. The absence of you feeling the sun does not explain the absence of the sun. So however God says it is called day, the name is called day. day. Regardless, you close your eyes and you enter in the dark room, it is still called day. day. So when the sovereignty of God has established it, hallelujah, Amen. you will have to possess it. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Amen. When the sovereignty of God has established it, you will have to Possess it, for is able to do more exceedingly, abundantly, super abundantly, mm. above all that you even are asking. Lord, I ask, I don't see. I ask, I don't see. Lord, what's going on? I ask, I don't see. No, he's establishing his sovereignty. He's establishing his sovereignty and this is the reason why he's speaking tonight this is why he has spoken today father we bless you we thank you ah we thank you we thank you because indeed there is more. And Lord God, in your goodness and your sovereignty, you have spoken. And what you speak, Lord God, does not come unto you void. What you speak does not come void. So Lord God, let it be fulfilled in the magnitude of your sovereignty. Let your hand do it. That it may be known that in the land there is a God that answers by thunder and by fire. Let it be that everything that comes against what you have spoken, every opposition that comes against what you have spoken, every spell that comes against what you have spoken, every wizard that comes against what you have spoken, let that be thunder yes. and fire and in fire. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let it be thunder, thunder. and fire, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the brimstone of heaven yes. consume yes. every opposition every and opposition. fire yes. and thunder yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, Lord. We bless you. God. We honor you. Do, 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 do. For by your hands, you have done this. Yes, Lord. By your hands, you have done this. Let it be. 